So, welcome to a new video. Today I will show you how you can write a Python package which can be extended by some customer plugins. It isn't a new topic, so there are a lot of ways you can set up a plugin system. I will build my plugin system with the entry points from the Python setup tools. So, for this we need one package, which is the main package and a second package which will be the plugin. I build this as an example so it's quick and dirty and obviously you shouldn't use it in product. I won't explain anything about the normal Python package. You can check out some links in the video description to get some knowledge about that. Before we start let me quick demonstrate how my plugin system works. As you can see, there are two files, funny and plugin. Funny will be our main package, which will later load the plugins. It is a really simple package. It's installed a command line interface. If you call the command line interface, you have a welcome message. And after two seconds, it will print a randomly joke. These files already include the setup script. So this is the quick and dirty way I already explained. For a real package, you will separate the setup script from the Python package. The plugin should only change the welcome message. The welcome message will be randomly choose from a list. For now, there's only one welcome message in this list, so choose one from one. Now we can install the plugin. The plugin will add two more welcome messages to the list. And now if we run this file again, you can see uh, another welcome message. And as you see, we are now free welcome message available. I think it's a really nice and clean way to write plugins. Simple install the Python package and the plugin is available. I know there are a lot of different ways to write plugins. Maybe you have a better idea, write a comment. Let me know how you would write your own plugin system. Before I show you the plugin system, I write a normal package. As long as package and setup script in one file is a normal package. To get the jokes, I use an old Python package I write a few years ago. This will return some random jokes from some entry points from the World Wide Web. If you're interested, there's a link in the video description. So, there it is, the basic package. You see there's nothing special, a main function, which will first show a welcome message. And down there, there's a setup script, so really nothing special. You see there's the command line interface, funny, really nothing special. For now, there's only one welcome message. We will change it in the next step to get a list. And that list will be load of a entry points from the setup script. I always say setup script, I mean the setup part inside my package. It's not a lot of work to make the plugin system. You have to define the entry points in the setup script. Then you need to include the iteration over the entry points. And then I build a simple list with the entry points I'm interested in. As I do this, I get stuck on the missing column and the definition from my entry points. But now we are. This is the basic package where we can write custom plugins. You can see there are only a few lines that I have to change. There I build my list and choose one item from this list to print the string as a welcome message. And in my setup part, I defined the strings I want to have as a welcome message. Now we write our plugin to have multiple welcome message. And this is really easy. First, we defined our setup part. Again, this is ugly and not for a real Python package. But I believe in you, you are smart and you know how to write a nice Python package. Back to topic. I defined my setup part and I only need these two strings and include them inside my entry point list from the setup part. 
Yeah, it, that's simple. Nothing more to say. <laughs> I only will change the for loop and add the index string so you can see how many uh, welcome messages are available. This won't change the functionality of the plugin system. I only like this way. These are only strings and really simple objects in Python, but you can do it with any object you want or any class or anything you want. If you really want to build a plugin system, you have a special structure, you can make a basic type of this structure and then allow the customer to change your structure with your custom plugins. There are a lot of Python packages who use this technique. Obviously, there are some from my. You can check them out. I will link them in the video description. I hope you find this useful. If you have any question, write a comment. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, like and share my video if you enjoy it. And we will see you next time. Have a nice day.